All right. Good afternoon, guys. Hey, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go ahead. We're going to go ahead and do today's call. It is 3:02, and as I suspected, attendance is down a little bit from normal. Uh, obviously, because of snow, um, we've had uh, we've had quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of weather over the last couple of weeks, and and in a way, that's good for you guys. Obviously, for those who plow. Um, it's not always good for those of us who want to get the attention of those who plow, but that's okay. I like it when you guys are making money and uh, and keeping busy. And the last couple of years have obviously been uh, less than stellar when it comes to um, when it comes to snow removal. So we're going to go ahead and, and and do today's call. And actually, the numbers are jumping as I as I go here. More people are are, are jumping on the phone. A um, couple things before we, we get started with our with this week's guest. Um, I wanted to uh, let you guys know uh, that we, we have finally, <clears throat> literally as of 15 minutes ago, finalized the, the 2014 pricing. And uh, there was a couple of uh, raw materials we're waiting on, and it it actually worked out in our favor, and it was uh, it's a good thing. So Scott will be able to get finally get pricing out to you on all of our products, including the the new 1300, which I'm pretty pretty excited about. And Scott and I were just talking about it. It's going to fit perfectly into to what we're what we're trying to do. Um, reviewing a couple of the the previous presentations, I know that lots of you guys have spoken to. Um, the ladies at MultiView, and I'm, I'm glad to hear that, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, several of you committed to go ahead with that program. I think it's an excellent program, and I think it's going to make you sales. Um, I don't think you've spoken with uh, the people at, um, uh, at the direct mail company as much, because they were just on last week, and you guys have been plowing for a week. So um, if you are interested in doing something like that, please. Uh, you know, please reach out to them or reach out to me, and we will continue to do our one-on-one -on -one calls. And I've, I've had some really awesome calls with you guys over the last uh, couple weeks, <clears throat> and we'll continue to do them over the next couple weeks. Kind of take a little bit of a break with the holiday, um, but you know, it's even though it's the off season, it's not really the off season, right? It's, there's, there's lots to do. So I don't have anything other uh, than than our our guest presenter plan for today. Kind of knowing that we were going to have some weather. Um, we're recording the call so that for those who, who aren't here, if you're listening other than, than right now um, on Tuesday afternoon, um, this is why I record it. So we're joined, <clears throat> we're joined today by, by Tatum Nolan. Um, Tatum, I just unmuted you. Can, can you hear me? And uh, Can you speak up? That's not a good sign. Hello. Tatum, Earth to Tatum. I was just typing with Tatum earlier, and now he's not. Uh, now he's not replying, which is interesting. Let's see if he's. Oh, now it's asking me to send the uh, audio pin. All right, so same thing that happened uh, earlier. Tatum, you'll be getting that audio pin. I did make the same the same mistake with our guest last week, and evidently uh, there's a there's a limit when there's uh, when we first started the call. There are fewer than ten people on, and it has quickly jumped to closer to twenty. So there must be a limit with uh, um, being able to unmute people. So, hey Tom, are you able to hear me? Hey, all right. <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. I actually had myself muted, and then oh. I actually disconnected. So, um, okay. so I am oh, back. I appreciate back. the intro. <laughs> no problem. Tatum, I'm just going to let you take it from here. And as usual, guys, I'll be controlling uh, the screen, so Tatum will be asking me to uh, uh, to click the, the, the presentation over. And Tatum, go ahead and, and introduce yourself, and we'll we'll get rolling. That sounds great, Tom. Thank you. And just two things I want to uh, clarify, Tom. When we get to the point where we do a live demo, are you able to hand over credentials to me, or do you want me to just direct you on your screen? 
for, for right now, direct me, because I'm not going to be able to change the presenter just based on the way I have the call set up. So I'll have to uh, operate your, your deck. Yeah, that's no problem at all. And then I'd, I'd also say any uh, at the conclusion of the call, if you want to, um, I'm open to questions along the way, but also at the end of the call, I'd, I'd be very happy to open it up to Q&A and then to bow out if there's things that you want to discuss with me offline, I can, um, I, I can just step off. So. I yeah, and let, let me let me set it a little bit for you a little bit better, Tatum. I had sent out an email to to all of our applicators uh, explaining sort of what porch is about and and what you were going to talk about today. So you're not starting completely cold. Um, people people are expecting to hear from you are interested in in your presentation. So take Great. it away. Okay, sounds good. Well, I'll try to be pretty efficient and really leave lots of time for for Q and A. Um, excited to, to spend some time with you all. I'm responsible for all of our kind of our strategic partnerships. So that that means, for instance, building relationships with a lot of franchisees or organizations such as BeSafe, um, and a number of CRM partners as well that uh, that really make it easier for professionals to create uh, really beautiful profiles that feature their projects. So, for instance, we do have a relationship with Service Autopilot. Um, that would make it, it really easy for us to work together. So uh, really excited to be on the call with you all today and supporting supporting you all because I I'm out in Seattle and I feel very aligned with with the way that you all approach lawn care. Um, why don't we uh, switch to the next next slide? So just a high level intro to Porch. We've we've been around for two years and operating pretty quietly during that time. We we launched publicly just a few months ago. And what we're really trying to do is kind of build a home improvement network uh, that makes it really easy for homeowners to find the best home professional based on the project history work that a professional has done. And so it's really about uh, not just taking word of mouth recommendations from across the city, but really identifying those professionals that have done work very close to a specific homeowner or on homes that are very similar to that homeowner's. And then servicing them and allowing the homeowner to contact them directly. So we really think about ourselves as supporting you all in generating new business. A major difference we see ourselves as is we're not trying to get in the middle of that relationship and sell that lead to you. The homeowner can search for you. They click on your profile, and then they can contact you directly. So we've, uh, I'll go through the demo, and I'll give you a better sense of that. But just by way of background, as I said, we're based in Seattle. We've got a really outstanding team here. You know, the person who launched Windows 8 is our um, head of marketing. Uh, the person who founded Google's optimization team and built it to 500 employees is the, is the VP of customer acquisition. A lot of Microsoft and Apple and Amazon alum are, are really trying to build a great company, um, having left those really successful companies. Um, so we, we launched publicly just a few months ago. And in that time span, we, we've had coverage in about 2,000 outlets. So everything from Fox News, CNBC, Bloomberg, Huffington Post, Wall Street Journal, they're so really getting coverage, particularly in the kind of the high value uh, markets that we're, we're really targeting with our, our, our website. Uh, I was, I came on in April, and I was employee number 17, and we have surpassed 80. So we're really growing quickly, and it's, a, it's a, an exciting time around here. And uh, one thing that I can't actually put down in writing, but I can definitely speak to, is that we have a, a partnership with Lowe's Home, and Home Improvement. And uh, the partnership is um, they are looking to us to be a, a really important channel to connect their homeowners to great home professionals. So we're going to be rolling out across 17,000 stores nationwide in the next, um, sorry, 1,700 stores in the next uh, four months. And all their employees will be receiving training. There's going to be specific signage in certain aspects, certain parts of the store, particularly in painting and in lawn care. Because they find this is these are the customer segments that are particularly interested in 
what they call do it for me. So I'll provide the supplies, you do the work. Um, so it's a great opportunity and we've already launched in about 16 markets, particularly in, in uh, the Carolinas and in Seattle. And I think it's, it really promises to be an exciting channel for us and for anyone with a porch profile. Um, I think that's it for highlights. Why don't we switch over to um, go to the next slide, which I believe is the demo. Yeah, so if you could, Tom, if you could open your browser to porch.com. Yep, hang on one second. I'm going to do this uh, the lawn guy way, not the official uh, presenter way. So, <laughs> But our guys would expect nothing less, Tatum, so don't, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. So... Um, so there's really two aspects of this site, and we've done this to, to generate traffic. One is that people can browse a really beautiful photo gallery of, of um, for instance, architects, designers, uh, decorators, and see beautiful homes, scrapbook those homes, share those home photos. And that's the kind of inspiration side of it. But then there's this, the other side, which is really about finding the right pro for you. So if you navigate over to the the, uh, the, the orange language that says, I'm looking for a pro, Tom, that would be great. Right here, Tatum? Yep. Okay, so it looks like you're actually there. Sorry, the yep. screen's a little dim. So now, just to, just to show you a, an example of how it works, go down to the screen below and type in in the field, type in painter. And uh, near, do, do Seattle. Start typing Seattle, and it will, um, it should auto-populate to Seattle, Washington. Yeah. Good search. So these are the search results, and, and let's see. I'm sorry. No problem. Got it. Great. So these are search results for Seattle, Washington, and, and you can see more and you'll see uh, a number of, of other options. What I want to do is if you could just click on uh, Shearer Painting. So in this respect, I think everything that you've seen thus far is very much like, like Google, and what you're doing is you're searching for uh, a, a specific city. You can actually get as specific as you want down to the neighborhood or even the home. And when you do that, you're going to zoom in on those choices that are most relevant to you based on who's done work for your friends and neighbors, assuming you're a homeowner. So this is a profile that Shearer Painting has created within Porch. So he's determined that, that, that banner photo at the top, the headshot of himself. If you scroll down a little further, what you've seen is, you know, you can see he's got 168 projects, two endorsements. And uh, go down to that coverage map. That's it. Now, if you could zoom in on that map a little bit, I'd like to just, uh, I think you have to click the plus button in the upper left corner. And keep going. And uh, one more further. So we're never going to specifically identify where you do your work. But, but what we do is we surface, at the very least, in a randomized sort of way, the neighborhood where you've done, done work before. So let's say I'm looking for a lawn care person, and I live in some of these neighborhoods. And I don't know if you all know Seattle, but, but uh, Denny Blaine and Matt Washington Park, these are some of the higher end parts of town. Um, and likewise, if you look around the map, you'll see that he actually doesn't have much coverage in some of the lower end parts of town. Now, the homeowner, when they look at these profiles, they're really evaluating, can I trust this person enough to let them into my house, into my yard, around my family? Can I trust them even on a recurring basis if I'm not there? Can I trust them at their word? And all of this, this information, I think, really helps to build that credibility in the eyes of the homeowner. If you've done work in a neighborhood, and if that, that project work is on porch, and you're featured really highly when that homeowner comes in. They're going to see that you've done work for neighbors, and ideally a number of neighbors. 
that's the density of coverage that really builds the confidence in the um, in the homeowner. And then if you go to the top, what you can see, um, Tom, if you go to sorry, if you go to the top of the the web page, is that if you click on the contact info or the email of pro, you can actually the homeowner can actually contact you directly. So. Uh, we're not, again, we're not getting in the middle of the relationship. Uh, when they're excited to work with you, they contact you. And hopefully they've been given all of this really rich information that makes them say, you know, I really trust them, I want to work with them. They're not going to call you and start haggling about the price because you've just given them a lot more information. Just a few more optional features I just want um, to go over. If you just go down to the photo section, it's just a little bit more on the page and click into that photo. Now there's definitely some trades that really lend themselves to photos. Um, obviously architects and, and decorators and contractors do because their, their product is the home they built. Um, if you just click to the middle photo, that would be great. In the case of trades, and I, you know, I, I tell this to plumbers and handymen and, and lawn care as well, the value in the photos for the homeowner is as much about seeing the, the quality of the home that you work in. They're really trying to determine whether or not they can trust you in their yard. And if you show a beautiful lawn with a beautiful house, that really goes a long way towards, towards them thinking, you know, this homeowner with a pretty high-end home trusted them, so I can trust them too. It really just helps build that credibility in the eyes of the homeowner. And then last thing, if you could just click outside of that, um, yep, just click, yeah, like, and then go down to the very bottom. We have a, a kind of a description. So this is a place where it's really a little bit higher than that. That's it, right there. So this is a kind of a free-form text field where you can add any background about your business. Um, the story of how you got connected to 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 be safe, the the kind of the belief that you have about why that's the right thing to do. Um, all of your contact information is there, including your website. So if they want to learn even more, they can link back to your website. The goal is just really, really rich information. And actually one of the features that we're building out further is we've got a database of about 85 million homes and attributes about that, those homes. So the number of uh, stories they have, the lot size that they're on, the value of the home. And eventually, as people are searching for lawn care based on their specific home, we can not only surface those professionals that have done work near them, we can surface those that have done work on lawns or lot sizes that are as large as theirs, or on home prices that are as, you know, the home values that are as sort of in the same ballpark as theirs. So it's really about identifying the fact that someone with a 7,000 square foot lawn has very different needs from someone with a 1,000 square foot lawn, and that you can work on the specific lawn of someone searching with that shared attribute. So with that, I think we'll just um, there's other things on the site, but I think that's really the core aspect of the site that I wanted to, to focus on. Um, and we can go back to the, uh, the slide deck. What I may do is just take a pause and see, um, would this be a good time to open it up for questions, Tom, or would it be preferable to, to just finish and then take them then? Yeah, why, why, why don't you keep going? Actually, I covered up the uh, question pane here. Let me see if I can pull it up. I don't see if there's any questions. Uh, hang on okay. one sec. Uh, there's a couple, but um, why don't we just keep going? Okay, sounds good. We'll make sure to address them at the end, and if not, I'll, I will definitely follow up um, afterwards. So just to kind of summarize, everything that you saw in that profile is free. It is just like LinkedIn. We have a, a premium product that we're eventually going to roll out that um, it's going to provide additional kind of exposure on, on porch.com um, and some analytics tools so that you can just understand uh, where the most requests are in your area for lawn care. 
and how often you are being clicked on versus other companies. So really just kind of helping you get smarter about running your business. Those aren't yet launched, but I think the point is we want this to be free and always free, and we never want to bias the search results based on whether you're giving us money. I think for us it's critical that we're building a brand in the eyes of the homeowner that we're always surfacing the best match for them based on where they live and that it's not based on a pay-to-play model. So, uh, you know, more business for you, where you've done work, work on similar homes, and then also just endorsements because it's critical that we're building credibility in the eyes of the homeowner. It is a LinkedIn style endorsement model, so as opposed to anyone providing negative reviews, I think we listen to a lot of people who had bad experiences with other sites um, and homeowners who I think were being pretty unreasonable in, in leaving negative reviews and, and the professional not being able to do anything about that. We chose to go with an endorsement model. So you could be... Let me, yeah. let me stop you there because that was one of the questions that somebody had okay. asked. And and maybe you could uh, maybe you said all you need to say, but um, and I know this firsthand from talking to a lot of our guys that if they, if, especially in our business where taking care of a lawn is um, subjective, a lot of times what mm -hmm. I might think is a nice lawn, somebody else you know might have a dandelion and think it's a catastrophe. So I think <laughs> some of our guys and I know in in the industry in general have had a little bit of a. a, a, a a tough time with some of those other companies, and Angie's List is one, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, with a negative review that you just can't get rid of, even though it's not necessarily yeah. justified. So I think I'm glad you hit on that because um, several of them had mentioned that you know that's a turnoff. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to speak to that. I think we've what we've heard is is the range of things, everything from you're driving a be safe truck and someone feels like they got cut off and they're yeah. going to go write you a negative review on Yelp right. to, you know, I, I've had another uh, uh, professional say, look, 10% of my customers are just crazy. Like, they, they, they are unreasonable. Um, and, and that's enough of a population to, uh, to really harm someone's business. And I think um, we never want to have a site where, uh, where we give homeowners such carte blanche to leave anything unfiltered that they can have that impact on uh, your business. And I think what we're building towards is the sort of insight to be able to say, uh, this be safe uh, location, this, this landscaper, has, uh, has an average customer tenure of two and a half years, which to me is probably the greatest single fact that, that really compels me to work with someone if they've been providing ongoing services for a really long time. I think even more than endorsement. And that bears out in the, in the project history information that populates your profile. But then to be able to say they've done projects, uh, they've, done, they've got six customers in your neighborhood, and four of them have provided endorsement. That's the kind of thing that I think is more compelling than a single person who's really frustrated about the the sole dandelion that an or, a kind of an organic, you know, uh, amendment doesn't take care of. <laughs> well, and you joked about the, the cutting off somebody in traffic, but that's the kind of stuff that that we deal with, and and so it's yeah. I'm relieved that you know it doesn't speak to to the quality of our work at all. It's just that. Sometimes people put things out there that shouldn't be out there, and it's difficult to get rid of them. So I think that's important. Great. So, um, you know, I could show you other aspects of the site, but, but I think our goal, and we really come from a design background, is we want to make sure that browsing porch is beautiful um, and that it's a, a really fun experience. There's great photos, and we've got really super content, so we're actually building up a pretty robust blog that any of you all would be welcome to, to blog on in terms of just advice from an expert. If you had a porch profile, we could link that content to your profile. So I think we want to make sure it's a pleasurable experience and support you all in making really rich and beautiful profiles that, that give the homeowner lots of information. And I think that's different from what I've seen out there. 
And the third is that everything that I've shown you thus far is free. I think we've got a work cut out for us to ensure that we've got an optional product that is really compelling that people would choose to, um, to, to upgrade to. But, but just like LinkedIn, there will always be a free, uh, a free option on Porch. Let's go to uh, the next slide. So, you know, in the interest of time, I may kind of cherry pick some of these. Um, I think one of the major differences with, uh, let's say, Angie's List is that, you know, we really do believe that in the age of Google, homeowners are used to free information. And I think Google, or Angie's List actually, we've heard great things about Angie's List for some people. They've gotten a lot of business. Angie's List has approximately 2 million paid users. And that's great, but there's about 100 million households in America. And I think our goal is really to connect with those 100 million homeowners um, and be a solution uh, for the rest of them as well. And then I think this, this issue of tailored search results is also really relevant. That, you know, I can use, let's see, I'll just use New York as an example. If I live in Brooklyn, my needs are very different from someone who lives in Long Island or the Upper East Side or Park Avenue. You know, I might be more interested in a, um, a professional who is much more personable, um, calls me by my first name, uh, works with my price constraints. Whereas if I'm on the you know, Upper West Side, I'm on Park Avenue, I want someone who's going to call me sir or ma'am. And, they're gonna, and I'm less concerned about price, and they're going to do everything it takes to make me happy. And I think those are, it's not just that those people serve those neighborhoods well. The goal really is to identify those people who serve your neighborhood well. And, and so that's the, the kind of really granular recommendations and insights we're trying to provide. Um, yeah, why don't we, why don't we, tr we can transition. Okay, so it's free, to, it's free to have a profile, and I just want to um, sort of walk through the different ways that you can share information and then the different ways that you'll be featured if you do. So if you just provide the services you offer, let's say organic lawn care treatment, um, and you don't provide any project history information, what that means is that if someone searches, you know, lawn care, there is a chance that you will show up in the search results. And that would be the case if there aren't other people that have ranked, let's say, who have added more projects than you. If you actually add project history, and, and just as an aside, we put in writing that we're never going to share, sell, or publish that project history information because that is your greatest asset. And it's also a critical relationship that you need to maintain with your customers. So we never publish that. It's just published on that, that coverage map that I showed you. And it's used internally to make sure that we're, we're surfacing the best matches. But that's totally private information. If you share that project history information, then what it means is that we can do neighborhood-based searches. So who's done work in a specific neighborhood? We can service you more highly for that neighborhood. And then also, as we get this feature built, it's the home attributes. So if you share with us the homes that you've worked on, we actually have a database of the lot size of that home. A homeowner comes in and searches of the, with the same kind of lot size and the same value home. Then we can surface you as a good match in that context as well. And then verified endorsements. And the way that those work is, you know, let's say Tom and I are connected by way of LinkedIn, and I decide I'm seeking an endorsement from, uh, from Tom, and I send him a note through LinkedIn. He's going to see something in his email that says Tatum Nolan via LinkedIn or, or by way of LinkedIn. And it would be the same thing here where if you were to share an address, an email address associated with a specific homeowner that you work with, then they would receive an email that says, you know, from ABC Lawn Care by way of by way of ports, and it says, hey, 
you know, you've been a really loyal client to me. If you like the work that I've done, I'd really appreciate it if you can endorse me on porch. Now, that becomes a verified endorsement because we can attach that homeowner to a specific address. And that counts for more in our search algorithm. But sharing email addresses is totally optional. I think over time it is going to play a greater role in kind of driving the search rank, um, but it's totally optional. <coughs> we can uh, transition next slide, Tom. So uh, this is sort of coming to the end, and I just say we would love to work with you. And if we were to uh, sort of connect by the end of the week and you were to express your interest, then we'd be able to really support you all on an unlimited basis in uploading projects. So there are some, prof uh, some professionals that have uploaded five projects themselves by way of our front end. And our front end is just like kind of LinkedIn or Facebook, where they add a project and they do next, and they add another project. <laughs> it's laborious, and those are people who sort of put in 15 projects. If you sign up at the end of the week, what we can do is facilitate an export from whatever system you might be using, where you can export thousands of projects. And we have cases of 36,000 projects that, that we've been able to ingest for certain professionals. And I know for kind of recurring trades, you all are going to have quite a few jobs. And I'm using the term jobs and, and projects interchangeably. So we'd be able to really provide ongoing support in that area to really facilitate you adding as much and beautiful content to the ports profile as, as you want to make sure that you're, you're up in the search rank. And then the second thing is, as I said, we haven't yet rolled out the, the kind of the premium feature, but when we do, we would give you $210 off the, uh, any investment in that. And I'll just, I'll give you a heads up on that. We're envisioning sort of launching it by beginning of March, and that it would cost $35 a month. And so that's, you know, five or six months. Um, so if you are interested, uh, let's connect, and I'll, I'll put up my slide, my information on the next slide. Um, connect by the end of this week, and then we can make sure that you're really given uh, a high level of support in uploading the project information, um, and we can track that, that discount or that coupon back to you all. There's my information, and I, I love this, this, um, this signage. This is actually developed by Lowe's for us. And this is the signage that's going in their lawn care section of their store. So um, I thought it was a nice, nice one to end on. And if we could just linger here, that would be great and maybe open it up to any questions. Tom. Yeah, there's a couple questions here, Tatum, that I'll, that I'll just ask and, and maybe it'll generate a few more. But um, from, from sort of an operational standpoint and from a marketing standpoint, the, the, the one that uh, more than a couple people have asked is how do you, how do you actually upload your customers? Is it, is, it a, is it a simple process? Is it something that you, know, you kind of have the instructions once you sign up? How do you get your, your actual customers into the system so that they show up on mm -hmm. that map? Yeah, so there's two ways that we do it. One is all, it's the front end and the back end. And the front end is that um, anyone can create a porch profile. So if you were to go to pro.porch.com, you could register. Once you register, we, uh, we send you a registration confirmation email. And from there, you can add every detail about your business that you saw before, including past projects, including images, everything. So the other way that it... That? I was just, I was going to say that was another question. How do how do I sign up? Pro yeah. Yep. That's right. So it's pro.porch.com, and and I would say um, you can absolutely start that process right now, just for the purposes of ensuring that we're tracking you as a as a valued, be safe person, and you don't get lost in the in terms of ensuring we we track you for the two hundred and ten dollar coupon. What I'd prefer is that the first thing you do is you, con you just connect with me, and we will hold your, your hand through all of that. So we'll send you to pro.porch.com. We'll put your name on a special B-Safe list that's attached to, a, to this discount, and we'll walk you through that entire process. 
once we're in conversation, what we can do is just get a better sense of how you collect your information. So if it's QuickBooks, that's helpful because we have a video on how you can export your QuickBooks file. Do it really easily. Send over thousands of projects, and we'll take care of the rest. So you don't have to do any of that. Um, if you happen to use Service Autopilot, which is one of our CRM partners for your, for your business, there's actually an interface within Service Autopilot. You just click on that button, and they take care of all the other information. So we've got a, a sort of a direct pipeline of information between them and us to upload project history. Now, you'll then have to go back and add the other elements beyond the project history, so your contact information, um, any endorsements that you want to collect, um, the website and the business description. But that project history information would be totally taken care of. So guys, I should also mention that, that, that I was introduced to Tatum um, by Jonathan and at, at Service Autopilot. And I know many of you have, uh, have become uh, customers or users of Service Autopilot. And that just keeps um, the, the, the reasons to do that continue to, to grow all the time. Uh, and with, with Porch being linked to Service Autopilot, there's another one. And, you know, I, whenever I say that, I always want to throw out there that, you know, be safe or, or I don't have any specific interest in that um, other than trying to figure out what's going to work best and most effectively for you guys. So um, there's another endorsement for, for Service Autopilot. In, and in addition to, you know, to just that, I, you know, I want to say that, you know, this is an obvious no-brainer. And, and the long list of no-brainers, this is, you know, right up there, especially with, you know, with it Porch being uh, sort of new. Uh, and, and Tatum talked about, I think, would you say you were employee number 18 or something. This is getting in at the, at the ground floor of something, and I think it absolutely makes sense and it's something you have to follow through with for sure. Um, somebody wants you to talk more about Lowe's. Yeah. Um, okay, so we are rolling out nationwide in the next four months. We've been piloting it in Seattle and the Carolinas. You know, Lowe's is based in outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. And the pilot has been for the purposes of um, understanding how we need to tweak and make our uh, employee training most effective. So that when a homeowner comes in and they say, hey, can you recommend someone to take care of my lawn, they know exactly what to say, which is, well, I can't specifically endorse a professional. But what I can do is take you to Porch. Tell you what, why don't you pull out your cell phone and we'll go to l.porch.com, which, by the way, is our mobile site, um, branded for Lowe's. And from there, what you can do is you can search for a, a lawn care professional who's done work near you. Um, and all quarter million of their employees are being trained in this. We rolled out with 16 just to ensure that the, the training and the messaging was right, um, that the signing, the signage was accurate. And I think, what's the rollout plan? We're doing 112 stores in early January and then really ramping up pretty rapidly from there. Um, so it's a great, great partnership for us. And I think they were finding that of their quarter million employees, on average, each of them was receiving one request per day for some sort of professional. And for them, it really it was part of this idea that they wanted to rebrand themselves just from a product company to a home improvement company that could really service all of the needs that their customers, homeowners, had when they, when they walked into the store, and that it wasn't part of this experience they wanted to provide to deny them the opportunity to have that critical question answered, which is, who should I work with? Right. Here's a, here's a question. I'm going to read it word for word, and I think you'll be best to, equipped to answer it, uh, Tatum. Is, uh, David says, I only operate a lawn care program, not a landscaping company. Will the system be able to differentiate between lawn care, meaning fertilization, and landscaping, meaning mowing and construction and that kind of deal? Yeah, it, yes, we can. We have a taxonomy that, uh, I guess, a, a, what we call a prototype taxonomy that differentiates between lawn care and landscaping. So absolutely. Nice. 
Great. Good answer. Guys, um, I think that's the, all the questions I have, other than ones that we answered along the way. Um, before we, how do we do on time? We're good. We only, it's only 40 minutes. <laughs> Adam, we tend to say we're only going to go an hour, and then like 90 minutes later, we say, oh. <laughs> Well, but, um, you told me to go 30 minutes, so I was, uh, I was yeah, trying to speed yeah. along. <laughs> that was awesome. So, guys, um, if, if you don't have any other questions, we can, um, we can wrap it up. But, I, you know, of all the things we've talked about this, this very brief sort of off-season, this, you know, by far represents – you know the the biggest no brainer again, and, and we Adam we talk about you know other lead sources and things that you know that they need to opt into that cost money. The free listing mm -hmm. on Porch is you have to do it. There's there's no doubt about it. And then you know where you go from there um, is up to you. But you know this certainly has my my endorsement to to uh, to have every member of the Be Safe Network on. And I really appreciate your your. Um, you know your your willingness to help us and, and support get the thing rolling because that's um, that means a lot to us. That's really cool. So, is there any other any other questions, guys? So, just in closing, um, I would just add that you can. My number's there, so if you want to call me directly right after this, and you have a few more questions, give me a call. I've uh, I've, I've got the time, and I'd love to to follow up with you. Um, if for any reason you don't have my information, what we can do is just contact Tom, and he'll make sure that we get in touch with each other. Um, and then just reiterating the uh, the deadline by the end of the week. Perfect, guys. Um, since nobody's got anything else, I'm going to wrap up. I'm looking out my window, and the snow is beginning to come down. Uh, <laughs> pretty good at this point, so I'm going to I'm going to get out of here and get on the road. A um, couple other questions, Frank. The, the that new pricing isn't up on the on the store yet. Um, and I think that's it. So thank you, Tatum. I really appreciate it. And for everybody else, um, I'll talk to you later on. And uh, have a great uh, rest of the day. Thanks, guys. Great. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.